Hello there, today we will finally be picking up the LED display I promised you like two months ago. So this will be the last video with that base plate in the background and I'm inviting you to come along to Smiths to pick it up. It's a bit of a road trip to start off this video and then we'll be packing it with all of our CMF minifigures because that isn't all of them. I've got so many in a Ziploc bag that I will now be able to fit into this bigger display and Honestly, if I like it enough, there might even be a second one in the future. So I'm going to get ready to head out and I'm not sure what exactly I'll be recording. It depends how busy it is, but hopefully we can also take a look at some of the new sets. And I have seen that the new Space CMFs are in select Morrisons around the UK. So on the way back, perhaps we can pop into my nearest Morrisons and have a look if they've got any of the Space CMF and I might also be picking up a few of them to review here on the channel. If you do end up enjoying this video, do be sure to drop a like. It does help the channel and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. But for now, kick back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. So we're just getting ready to go out now. And as you can see, the sun is absolutely shining through the window. We don't have any other lights on, so it looks like it's gonna be a nice day. We are still in England, so it does mean it could downpour at any second. So I have wrapped up for any weather, but hopefully when we get to Smith's, it will be pretty empty and we can go straight to the display we want. As I said, we are going to check out the other recent Lego sets because I think the last time we were there was probably a few months ago. In fact, I don't think we've seen any of the March or April releases, I suppose. We did end up going in a Lego store earlier this month, but we didn't get to look at any of the Lego. So I'm excited to replace that base plate. In fact, I'll probably take it down right now before we leave, just in good spirit and hope that they do have the display we're looking for. And I'll update you as this adventure goes on. One display down, one to pick up. So we have reached our destination. Hopefully they've got one in stock. I'm gonna go in now and I'm just saying Lego, there's an empty store here if you wanna move in. But hopefully they've got one in stock and if it's not too busy, I will record inside. I'm not quite sure where the best lighting is. So we'll go have a look at all the Lego sets. So we managed to pick up the goods in Smith's and we're actually heading to Sainsbury. Smith's didn't really have any new Lego sets. That's a lie, they had the new Despicable Me Lego sets. But besides that, they didn't have any other sets. So I'll whack a clip of them on screen. And yes, we're off to Sainsbury's to see if we can find any more newer lego sets there doesn't seem to be any new lego or any lego deals but if you are looking to build a minecraft zombie army this magazine is pretty cool so we are back from our lego trip and i didn't get to record in morrison's it was just way too busy and i was actually busy with my hands full for another reason so i'll get to that in just a minute but i do have the bag of goods here there are a few extra things that i picked up no lego sets because i was spending enough as is but of course the main reason for today's video is this smith's display you might have seen other people review this as it's been quite popular already i'm not sure if i'm covering my mic with this so apologies for any audio bugs throughout this video because i'm sure some of the content i recorded on the road is gonna have a lot a lot of background noise but I'm so excited to finally get my figures in a proper display case. No offense if you use base plates to store your figures, but personally, I don't think it looked too great in the back of the video. This takes three AA batteries, I think, so I do have them to hand, and I cannot wait to see how my minifigures look in this case. I'm gonna leave it there and hope that it doesn't topple because it's not the only thing I did end up picking up some Lego in Morrison's and though I will not be opening them anytime soon because I still have to look for the third one. In fact, I will be going back to Smith's in about a week and a half's time because for May 4th, they are giving out the Star Wars TIE Fighter, which if you didn't know, this is the second Star Wars poly bag this year as I tried to find the first one because they gave out in January. I don't think Lego actually did give this out, but it was available since January, the AAT poly bag. You can currently get this from May 1st to May 5th, I believe, for something like 35 pounds and whatever that converts to in your local currency. 
It's quite good. It comes with a few rare, I don't think they're exclusive pieces, but these side panels, they're the same rounded 3x3s that we used on Yoda's Starfighter. They are pretty cool and I really do like this model. So I'll probably be making it into some sort of diorama soon because I've got some good plans for this. But with the UCS TIE Interceptor being announced, I assume they'd whack the UCS TIE. Oh, at least with the Interceptor, people that buy that, they get the poly bag. It's a nice little TIE. Similar to the X-Wing that was available last year. I'm pretty sure this was around May 4th for the UCS X-Wing. Not exclusive to it, but you could pick this up with so much bendings. And actually, it's going to be quite interesting to compare this to the size of the TIE Interceptor. Because I know, especially over on Rebrickable, there's been a few arguments to what actually is minifigure scale. And I wonder if the poly bags will scale up to each other. But... In Morrison's, because this has just been the world's longest Lego tangent, the reason I had my hands full is because I was scanning the new Lego CMF Space Poly Bag. Shout out to the person that put me on Morrison's scent. I'm sorry, I don't remember your username. I think it was like Construction Wolf. So I will leave his video down in the description if you do want to see a review, because I was able to pick up 11. 11 out of 12 11 i scanned all of them i scanned them through twice actually just to make sure i didn't make any mistakes there were four figures gone from that case the front four the rest of them were in the pattern you'd expect the new boxes to be it sort of lined up with what i found from the last series but the four minifigures that were taken included three of one of the minifigures i haven't picked up so i won't be revealing which 11 that i have i might see if these fit in the display case when it is fully built but when I go back, May the 4th, two Smiths for the Star Wars poly bag, which I'll show you an image of the promotion on screen. I'll try to find the last one because these officially don't come out till May. So Morrisons across England seem to have put these out early. Definitely go head to your Morrisons if you do want to check them out. And don't forget to use the app to scan the QR codes on the bottom so you know which minifigures you're finding. Honestly, Lego know what they've done here and I'm sure sales for these CMFs have just increased. Of course, you can still buy a box and you'll be getting three of each in there, but that's not what this video is about. They will be put away for another video because today I'm really excited to get this display up and hopefully get it on the wall by the end of the video. So before I do that, I would just like to point out there were a few people shouting in the background of my videos. If you see someone trying to record something, perhaps not even for a video, it could be on a call to a loved one or a friend. Don't shout out over the background, just annoying. So please just go on with your day and let others go on with theirs. But now let's get the other CMFs and also the ones off this board. And I have some plans how I'm gonna fit them in here. So first off, let's go to the desk and I'll share with you what I'm thinking. So what you can see on your screens are two potentially different layouts for minifigures. You can see that these three by four boxes that I've created are actually the CMF display pieces, which I actually have an update to them. I'll include that in my CMF review. And the plates that are included in the display unit are meant to be about the size of the highlighted region. So you can see two plates next to each other should hold all 12 from a new series of CMF. And each minifigure gets to stand on its own base plate. And I would love to create something on a CMF base plate just to show off what series it is. I don't know if I'm going to be brick building the number of the series, but then we have other series like the Space CMF. I'm pretty sure, actually, no, it does say Series 26. I did not know about that till I got the box. So this is 26th series of CMF, which is quite nice. I guess it's not exactly a licensed theme, but we have ones like Looney Tunes. We have other series like Simpsons that I have quite a few of. And I'm not sure how I'm going to represent them. Perhaps I can brick build sync or even just whack a two by four tile and print off a logo as a custom sticker. But I definitely do want to represent each series by themselves. And for the older series that do have 16 minifigures, they won't be left out. A lot of their accessories I've noticed are a lot smaller than the ones like we're not getting massive swords, shields, capes and everything or even dragon tails and dragon wings, which will be fun to try and fit in here. So what I've done is just grouped up the minifigures a bit closer to each other. As long as they have sort of two and then half a stud either side, they'll be able to stand next to each other. So I've given them enough space to stand next to each other. And as I said, just grouped them a bit closer. So hopefully this will become a lot clearer when I'm actually putting them into the case. But of course, first, we do have to take them off the old ones. And also 
sort the older CMFs into their respective series. So this is the easy part, just taking off all of the plates with the minifigures stood on, and hopefully I can try and keep these all in their series, as I said. I'm not too fussed on the order. I think I lined them up on the order they show up on the boxes. So I'm not really too fussed because a lot of these will just have to be squeezed in where I can fit them. But I also have lists of all the other CMFs and all the other minifigures I've got so I can check over this and make sure that I'm not missing any CMFs. I have been known, especially with Lo-Fi Girl who is here, I've been known to forget about certain CMFs and where I've put them. I use Lo-Fi Girl for the torso and the legs for a custom, well, Lo-Fi Girl, and that's where Lo-Fi Girl got her name. But I'm pretty sure these are my most complete series because this is when my fiance was getting more into Lego and we started collecting them every couple of weeks when we went to the supermarkets, we'll grab some bags and then we got to the last sort of three, four minifigures and really tried to just complete the series. Now, this base plate will no longer be hanging on the wall, but it doesn't mean that it won't be used because in fact, I have a few bigger mocks coming up that will need this base plate. Most specifically designed after the Batman skyline, which I think it'd be cool to try and build other skylines on it and might even try building another bigger mock, like the mock Isley one that I've got going on my Star Wars display at the minute. And if I already have a mock there, because again, big things planned for me, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out, then I'm gonna need another base play to give me the space to create something else. So that is most of the baseboard emptied. As you can see, all I was doing is Clipping down some snot bricks, I think they were about eight bricks apart, seven bricks apart, and that enabled you to clip the CMF base plates on them. So if you do want to mimic this at home, it is fairly easy and probably the cheapest way to display your figures. So it does seem that I've run into a problem with the Smith's display case. Now the lights work, it's all fine, and I'm gonna be keeping it ultimately. But the design I had that I just showed you for putting the CMF bases onto the actual blocks doesn't quite work as expected. I'll show you what I mean. So this is what the interior of the display case looks like at the minute. I have taken out a few of these plates and the whole thing's actually wedged up on my chair just so I can do it next to my desk. But what I didn't account for are these little clips on the edge of the unit that do render the outside studs practically useless. So there's two ways I can go about this. I can either just put some one by twos down to hold the minifigures, or what I can actually do is slide the CMF bases on here. So I'm gonna do one series with the CMF bases probably on the left, and then use one by twos on these non-Lego plates on the right, and basically see which one I prefer. So it turns out I've got an even better idea than either of the two I pitched before. You can see the CMF bases are way too loose. Someone's got a nice shine to it, but they're a bit too loose. And because you've got the two studs to the side, they overlap and it's just not very neat. Not to mention that you can't really see the characters behind. So what I've done instead is actually zigzagged each of the CMF characters on their own base plate. So what I've done is just lined the one plate with six CMF bases the front ones are to the right and the back ones are to the left and that gives enough space for the captain here and even the dragon right at the front. So it shouldn't be a problem for any of my other CMF lines. I realise this isn't quite in the position that it should be so I will need to rearrange these and some of these are very hard to clip in and out like you can't just drag it you've got a proper pop them out so I wouldn't recommend doing them with Lego plates because you can see it does damage the corners of them, which I'm not fussed with these cheaper plates, but definitely wouldn't try it with any of my Lego plates. But I will have to also say that on the box, it does say it can display over 80 minifigures. Well, that sounds like a lot of minifigures, but in each of these plates, I've got six minifigures. So perhaps they've counted three, but I can easily display six CMF minifigures in each of these slots. So we've got six times, what, five plates on each of the shelves. So we've got 30, and then we've got five rows, each with the LED lights underneath. But by my calculation, that's 150 minifigures. And that's proper CMF minifigures, three by four bricks they're taking up. So they might not have 
doubled them up and when you think 50 divided by 2, 75, they've probably rounded up to 80 to squeeze a few more on. But you can definitely easily fit 150 minifigures on here. So I don't think I've got much worry of running out of space towards the bottom. I'll probably bunch up my CMF minifigures and then show you when it's done because I don't think there's much of a point to time lapsing it because I've got nothing else to say. So I'm going to put all of my other CMF minifigures not like this and like the ones on the right and then show off the final result. So as you can see the first CMF series which ironically is the last CMF series until May when the space ones should come out is in and they do look cool but I do have to say if you are looking at picking up this display unit the hardest part is going to be trying to get the plates out of the unit. So what I recommend the easiest way that's worked for me is to have two of these brick separators I completely forgot the name then on either side and then to pull them with both your hands it still jolts it and it still takes quite a bit of strength but it's much easier than trying to use your nails and hook onto the plates definitely whack you could probably even get a few more brick separators on here but whack two brick separators and then pull each of the brick separators and you can even hook something to the axle here and pull that if you would like it makes it so much easier and that is really my top tip for it but now I'm going to finish this. The lights do work, so we'll have a look quickly with the lights without any minifigures in. I think this is going to absolutely look amazing on the wall behind me. And hopefully the next thing I have to show you is the complete display. Now there's no way I can do this without getting glare and my reflection in the case. But I will say they look amazing in this display case. My camera is having a hard time focusing, but hopefully you can see more or less all of my cmf minifigures i have done a collection video if you want to see specific ones but they're all behind these plastic doors it definitely looked like glass on the box but it's actually a plastic door you can see i've taken off the coverings from mine and i don't know if i can get it to focus but there is quite a bit of just dust and everything on these this isn't a perfect condition case and there was towards the top somewhere a smear which I might have a hard time scrubbing off but definitely worth the £35 I paid for it because for that price it's decent quality. I'm just going to give this a scrub down as long as this all goes when I give it a wipe afterwards. I can't really complain. It's not expensive enough to expect everything to come spick and span and I'm just happy I got all my minifigures in and also a row at the bottom so this year we've already got one cmf in january and one in may there should be another one in september and i've also got january of 2025 and then i definitely need to look at expanding it especially if i want to go back and collect all of the older cmf series but i'm going to whack this on the wall you can see in the reflection just there and then wrap up the video because I think this has been a very successful Lego store trip. So I finally got it up on the wall and I could have used the nails that were already there that were holding up the base plates and they were more or less in the perfect position. But I wanted something a bit more secure. So I ended up using the same screws as the ones that are holding up my shelves above my desk. And speaking of, I still don't know how I'm going to reduce three shelves to two, but I am going to make it somehow but I think it does look amazing. Now, I haven't seen it with the lights on yet, and I don't even know if the camera is going to pick this up. So this whole video, you could have watched all 10, 20 minutes, and it looks terrible. But let's hope that's not the case. Of course, we do also have the Space CMFs that I will be opening as soon as I have the 12th one. Now, my Morrisons, chances are, isn't going to stock them for a while because they don't tend to go too quickly. And... Even at that, they don't really sell well at all. Between them and the magazines, people just tear them open and there's literally QR codes on the bottom. You know which one you're going to get. They tear them open, leave them there. Please do use the app instead. But I will be opening them once I have the 12th one. Hopefully May 4th, Smiths will have them in stock and more specifically the one I want because they've got so many of the older ones. They're going to have to get rid of them soon. But... This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Three, two, one. Look at that. I'm going to come back into frame so you can actually see my reaction. I think, I think it just looks amazing. I will say 
I completely forgot to give it a wipe down before I put it up there, so that's going to be a pain in my bum to clean. But you don't even notice that it's that dirty. I mean, you could definitely see up close on a camera, and if I lent in, I could probably see the little marks and little bits of dust that have been left there. I refrained from touching this with my hands. It was so hard putting them in. Because they're plastic, you've got to sort of bend them in. They only slide so far. In fact, they slide all the way up to the last minifigure on each row, which is somewhat helpful because it means you can access all of the minifigures, but also doesn't mean you have to worry about them completely sliding off. So to try and bend them, I sort of had the palms of my hands and weren't touching the thing. It was very complicated, basically. But I'm so happy with how that's turned out. I mean, it really does look amazing. I'm not sure if it looks just as good on camera because the lights are quite bubbly, but I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. So let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Are you excited to see the Space CMF? Because as soon as I get my hands on the 12th one, we're opening that and I cannot wait to have a second Space Baby. Honestly, that's probably the most exciting minifigure out of them all. It's not actually one of the big ones, it's a little baby astronaut that comes along with it. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to be staring at this for the next few hours. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. And as I said, only requires three double A, which the actual port to connect them is on the side. I'm not sure if that itself can be removed, but there's just a little cap. It means you don't have to take it off the wall when you're changing the batteries, which I think I'm going to run these batteries dead. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you do want to see more of this sort of vlog style when I'm going out hunting, rather than me just voicing over, do let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you've managed to pick up any of the Space CMF early. Again, I'll leave that video in the description. So check out the early review. It's not my video. I don't have to plug it but it's how I found out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome content such as this. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. It's sort of a gamble, but I hope it's one that pays off. And as always, may the bricks be with you.